kids are dying over drugs. It's not right. Amanda Bartley isn't upset that police say her nephew, Cameron Williamson, had marijuana on him when he was killed. What she does care about is that it happened. I want these kids off these streets at night. And we, ha we parents have to keep them home. We could say no and keep them home. Police say Alexis Gribbins and Damian Murphy picked Williamson up early Monday morning and drove him to the spot where he was killed. Police say the plan was for Shelmonte Adams and Tariq Griffin to rob Williamson of marijuana and money. Williamson's family says he had two $5 bills and a small amount of marijuana on him at the time. It was a setup. He wouldn't have done, he wouldn't have gone out like that. We've learned there is video of this entire crime. This is all we can show you, a freeze frame of an empty parking lot. The video reportedly shows all four suspects show up together in the same car. Two get out and hide behind a wall. When Williamson is brought to the location, they run up, open the door, hit him, and shoot him. It was shocking. It was shocking. First case is Commonwealth versus Shelmonte Adams. A Nelson County judge set bond at $1 million cash for each suspect, saying they're all dangerous to society. Adams is charged with murder and robbery. Police say he admitted to shooting Williamson, but then changed his story. Griffin, Murphy, and Gribbins are charged with complicity to murder and complicity to robbery. Bartley is glad the four are behind bars, but is devastated at all she and her family have lost. He's always had that little baby face. His little chin would quiver when he was a little baby. We would always, that was Cameron's mark, was his little chin would quiver. You know, that's, that's things we don't get to see no more.